Today, we're gonna be making this sound. What is going on Rocket Powered Sound Designers? In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at how to make this awesome brass stab, and it's perfect for genres like dubstep, trap, future bass, really anything that you can put your hands on, in all honesty. This brass is just perfect. If you guys wanna check out my last brass tutorial, make sure you press, there's a little card up here. And for now, let's go ahead and jump straight into the video. By the way, for those of you are, that are new here, this channel is the best channel on YouTube for serum tutorials. So if you want a serum tutorial every single week, well, there's more than just one, make sure you guys go ahead and click that subscribe button. So anyways, guys, we're gonna start off with actually Monster 8. Now the reasoning for that is if we go ahead and give it a little listen it's squarefied it's i think it's monster seven but just squ uh squarefied and you can squarefy a waveform by just going into multis and then squarefy and basically what squarefying does is it puts it into the fft editor and then it removes every odd or every uh other bin which will basically create an odd harmonic sound okay so anyways um, that's beside from the point here. We want to start off and shape our envelope or complete master volume. So we're gonna start off with envelope number one, which you know obviously that is controlling the master amp. So let's drop the sustain down to zero. I don't know, maybe a, a little bit. And then we also want to turn down the decay and just turn up a little bit of release. And that's it for envelope one. And now we have completely set up the shape for the sound we're gonna be making. Perfect. So, um, now we're gonna be turning up the unison to 12. So we have 12 copies of the waveform playing at one single time. Sounds pretty weird, right? Let's go ahead and drop the random phase. So basically what that does is, um, you know, we have 12 different copies and the highlighted space is basically the are or basically represents the um, the different starting points that each of these individual copies could start at. And when we start to turn down the phase down, you're going to see that highlighted area shrink down and down until we get to you know just one single spot. So they're all starting at the same exact spot when we have it at zero percent, which creates a classic rhythm kind of cell sound here. So let's turn on the detuning to about like 0.07. And, you know, we could give it a little bit of movement. You know, we're going to be starting off with LFO number one here. And just giving it a little bit of shape here. This will just kind of give the sound a little bit more movement and just ultimately make it sound better altogether. Now into the filter here. Um, we're just going to simply use our low pass 12. So we don't even have to touch it. We're just going to go ahead and use, our, use the cutoff, turn it down. And just modulate it all the way up so it's just kind of starting out at a low point and then it's immediately jumping up very quickly and heading back down which is going to create a similar sound to a real brass <laughs> which is pretty cool so anyways now we're gonna go ahead and go turn on our distortion let's turn up the drive and we're literally just gonna be leaving the drive and the mix maxed out on this this is really gonna be creating our bass for the sound and you can already hear how this is creating like a nice brass horn sound. Not too shabby, eh? And by the way, guys, you're probably wondering, yeah, I have a Band-Aid, I'm fully aware. I know you guys are gonna roast me in the con comments. I don't know how long I'm gonna have this thing on for, but I cut my head, all right? <laughs> okay, feel free to go ahead and roast me. I know it's stupid, but now, <laughs> We're gonna go into our filter and turn on a reverb. Yeah, you're probably wondering what the hell is on my forehead. I, I completely forgot to mention that. It's kind of funny. Into the, anyways, we're gonna turn on a reverb filter and the reverb filter is just here. <laughs> to kind of make it sound better, I guess. That's really it, you know? There's no real, real technical idea behind this. You know, the reverb filter is just overlapping the same sound a bunch of times, you know, in basics. Uh, but turn up the resonance, which is basically increasing the decay or like size of the thing. Well, we got to turn that down. Now, 
now let's turn off the filter turn it on it just makes it like bouncy and fat oh yeah makes it thick so anyways we're gonna turn on our compressor now and select that multi-band option turn up the gain oh by the way guys put this on envelope we don't want that repeating we're just gonna leave it like that perfect uh, guys, this is, sound is actually really cool. Like, you can do a lot with it. Turn off. Use it for bass house. There are so many different options here. And now we're going to be turning on our EQ. Now, there's this one little special frequency that a lot of brass sounds seem to harp on. And we can actually just go ahead and boost that frequency by just... It's around, around like the 1,500 mark, or maybe 600, but yeah, that'll get the job done. You can turn that on or off, it's completely up to you, maybe turn down that gain, oops, turn on the gain a little bit. Perfect. So now into the hyper and the reverb, these two effects right here are really just going to be used to enhance the sound, nothing else. Um, just, we're not even gonna be shaping anymore, we're just gonna be enhancing it. Hyper is just gonna be adding in a little bit of stereo width, so these settings are completely up to you. These are what I'm gonna be doing though. And the reverb, of course. And that's literally how I made the sound. It is as simple as that. So, like I said, guys, excuse my stupid ass band aid, but if you guys like this sound and you know you enjoyed the tutorial, just drop a like on the video. It gives me an idea of how many of you guys actually like the sound. And if you think you would be interested in weekly serum tutorials, drop a that what? <laughs> what am I saying? Click that subscribe button. Check out the rest of our videos. If you like it then stick around. If you don't, I don't know what you're thinking. Anyways, guys, without further ado, my name is Shane from Rocket Parrot Sound, and I will catch you guys in the next Serum Tutorial.